हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो अबाउट यू नो डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन विच स्टूडेंट आस एज अ डाउट सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइप ऑफ कॉलेज विच यू आर स्टडिंग योर कॉलेज लाइफ योर यू नो प्लेसमेंट इंटर्नशिप एंड ऑल डिपेंडेंट ऑन दैट सो आई विल फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द एन आर एफ रैंकिंग इट सेल्फ एंड आई मेड द वीडियो एंड लॉट ऑफ questions were asked and they don't believe in an nrf ranking so the first important thing is you should understand why nrf rankings are made like that so the there is a global ranking which are called world university ranking and there are two type of world university ranking right times higher education ranking the and the qs world ranking right and these are very prestigious and it is given only to universities right so india started with only four four universities getting you know the some 5 6 years back and only few of them getting qs world ranking right now if you see in this year in 2024 43 universities and 90 universities are there in those two categories the ranking and world ranking that means indian institutions for engineering or the overall are going up right and that is a good news and the effort of the government is to basically increase this number more and by 2025 at least 50 plus will be getting qs uh, ranking and uh, similarly 100 plus for the right so those are the government's effort that they want to promote those institutes which will be coming in this world rankings so now the question is government promotes which type of institute so the if you see from the type 1 college type 1 college are the best college are basically the top government institutions which are like iits indian institute of technology or nits national institute of technology or triple iit which is indian institute of information technology or gfti which is government funded technical institute so the number one type institutes are basically top government institutes so you will see they are governments and they have higher standard and they will be always ranked higher in the nirf ranking and they are the best in terms of placements in terms of cut off in terms of their visibility globally so top government institution now the second category which government has created is called deemed to be university right so these are again the highest standard in the private college category in the private university category they are considered as the highest standard and why they were created again you as i showed these are the colleges which are getting the highest world rankings in terms of qs ranking or the the higher education ranking so all of the popular names you know and these have the very big campuses 700 acres 800 acres they have a very big student intake so that's why you find that this college you know most of your friends are studying there and it is easy to get admission comparatively to the other colleges which i am going to discuss but these are the highest standards they can bring 700 800 companies in the campus so this college provide you the opportunity which you can leverage and get your best placements right but then there will be you know average you know a deemed to be university you can see here christ university jain university even the ones which have been given the you know deemed university status like few years back they are also ranked high and you know the reason because it's a deemed university and government is going to promote only the deemed universities as the top priority and that is the reason their rankings are higher now i will come to the third type of college which is autonomous college which has private engineering colleges or state level colleges right so again this being autonomous colleges they have also got a very good benefit that they manage their own finances that's why they are autonomous college they can design their own system of syllabus design elective choice exam pattern exam dates everything is quite flexible right and uh, this colleges are excellent college are starting from rv college now in karnataka good news is that around you know 30 or 40 colleges are autonomous 40 and more than 40 colleges are autonomous so almost 50 colleges are closing which are autonomous status and you will enjoy all the benefits 
of autonomous college because VTU will not be interfering with your operations. VTU will not decide anything except that one thing is that your degree will come from VTU. Correct. So your only degree is going to come from VTU and on the top VTU logo will be there and the bottom there will be one line that Mr. XYZ has studied in RV college or Mr. XYZ has studied in Atria Institute of Technology. That's the only difference. Otherwise degree looks exactly same all from VTU. Only degree is coming from VTU. Rest of the full flexibility is with the college. So RVC again as I mentioned is so it will say RVC is autonomous college affiliated to VTU then student get confused and ask me question is it autonomous or VTU it's nothing like autonomous or VTU it's like affiliated or autonomous right so these are all I am talking is the autonomous college affiliated to VTU. One of the best part of this autonomous college is most of the autonomous college has got the good internship record. So many of the students or most of the students get the internship in the top branches and this, these internships are then converted into pre-placement offer PPO. So if you are studying in this autonomous college you have very good chances of getting internship and then direct job right through PPO pre-placement offer you don't need to sit in the placements also right in case you are able to get the good internship in good company so that is one of the biggest benefits which autonomous college i enjoy but not the deemed university deemed university has 10000 of students and they uh, don't have they don't provide internship to all students so only few of them will get internship but as compared to that autonomous college the percentage ratio of internship is very high so this is thumbs up for all the autonomous college now the fourth type of college is called private university right they have all the facility same thing like autonomous college they but they are universities right they can provide their own degree so that is the biggest difference if you study in autonomous college you will get the vtu degree if you study in the private university you get the private university degree right and uh, uh, the good part is they have control over their degrees, their syllabus, their internship, their placement, everything. But the cons is that they have very large number of seats and no regulation, right? So uh, it's very, very easy to get admission to the private university, but placements are very tough. And the placement percentage mostly in all the cases is like 50 to 60 percent. Even that is considered higher than some of them have even 40 and 30 percent placements. Why? Because seats are very very high. So the placement can never be 100% near 90% or 80%. It will be always 50, 60 or less. So am I saying that don't join the private university? The answer is not. There are good private universities where you get a good placement. So one of the private universities is PES University, right? Which take through KSET or PESET exam and they have the, got the best placement. Then there is GSS Science and Technology University, which is also a private university, but best placement. There is Kelly University, which are is also a private university, but it has got uh, best placements. Reva University, which has also got the NIRF ranking, Ramaya University, RV University. So all these type of private universities in the top category will be good option, but does just don't join any private university because placements will be low. Now moving to the fifth type of college, which is the non-autonomous college and the private college so these are the maximum number of colleges will be in this category at least 150 colleges in karnataka are this non-autonomous private college so here there is no flexibility in the syllabus whatever vtu says there is no flexibility in exam dates result everything can get delayed and mostly gets delayed because of what vtu says and they have no control on most of the parts right so uh, there are few colleges which are good colleges but still have not become an autonomous so an example is cmrit is a good college but it's not an autonomous college sir mvit is a good college but it is not an autonomous college and so on so yeah if the college becomes autonomous they have more benefits and if they are still not autonomous but placement wise there are many good non-autonomous college and you can join them so you can definitely join join them and but on the top ones only 
so placements review of these colleges is very important to understand before joining them now the last category is the government engineering colleges gecs or the state level engineering colleges provided by government so the biggest problem of this is that they have no placements almost very low placements or you know 10% 20% 30% that's all they don't have a good infrastructure right in terms of facilities and all right they have big campuses but the quality of that those campuses and the facilities wise is low almost there is no internship in this uh, type of colleges only good th thing about this colleges is the quality of uh, you know teachers you know professors these are they are good and well qualified because they are typically taken based on the government uh, you know job process and uh, they have mostly mtech and phd and the qualified ones so best quality are here but the student uh, you know face difficulty in terms of infrastructure internship and placements so you should basically avoid that unless you just want to do for a good quality education so that's all i have to cover in this particular video and hope your doubts are now clear Take care and bye.